Well, as we just mentioned, it's snake season. It's time to be wary of slithery home invaders that might find their way to your yard or even inside your house. Six News reporter Darren Wallace joins me live from the Six Newsroom. He met with some snake control experts today to find out their advice on how to avoid snake trouble. How'd you make out on this uh, story today, Darren? Well, Chris, <laughs> there's some dangerous snakes out there. So with snake season in full swing, it's important to know which ones to be aware of. Photojournalist Ryan Fight and I went along with snake control expert Casey Dawson to see what happens when the snakes find your backyard. Uh, rat snakes. If you have chickens and everything, you're going to see a lot of rat snakes, uh, grass snakes, your earth, uh, earth snakes. Central Texans, it is snake season, which means you need to be on the lookout for some unwanted guests. Stay down. Stay down, guys. Stay down. Right now, snake season's in full bloom, it seems like. Um, I've run across more venomous than I have non venomous at this point. Um, they can be in the house, around the house. There are several venomous snakes you should be especially cautious of. Here in Texas, we've got four uh, venomous snakes. You've got the copperhead, the rattlesnake, uh, the cottonmouth, and the coral snake. Typically, you don't see the coral snake around here, but I know they're, you know, over in Bell County and stuff like that. Exotic animal seller John Wesley says the snakes usually are looking for something to eat. One thing that brings snakes in is their food. That's the only thing that brings them in, especially around home. So if you have somewhere that has, you know, mice, you know, get rid of, you get like an exterminator, get rid of the mice or anything like that, because that's what will bring them in to feed on. That's their main diet around here. And if all else fails, just call the experts. See how far he strikes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only thing I can say is, you know, if you're unsure, call a professional. And even if you kill it, you know it's venomous or not. Just remember, the snake can still bite. Now, if you run into any snake issues, you can contact your local pest control. If you have any questions, visit KCENTV.com to find out who can help. It's sure to be a historic <laughs> summer, Chris. Uh, yeah, <laughs> glad you drew that story today, Darren. Did a great job. Glad everybody worked, uh, came back safe on that one. Appreciate it.